And then I told him it was going to be in Pinehurst, North Carolina. And he said, call Bill right away and have him come look at the property. Very kind of country, calm, and really not boastful. I don't know what that really means, but in my head that makes sense. Well, it was another day of low scoring at the second round of the 77th playing of the U.S. Women's Open. We are back at Pine Needles Lodge and Golf Club in Southern Pines, North Carolina. It makes me really excited to see like the, the finished form of Southern Pines. It, honestly, it might be too good. I, I, many people are concerned it might be too good. In 2024, the USGA will conduct the United States Open Championship at the historic Pinehurst Resort, specifically course number two. Mike, what makes this the greatest course you've ever done? It's just created some very unusual, uh, distinctive characteristics that are truly unique to this site right here. I mean, that's what makes it that's what makes it different than anything else around here. You know, there's a, there'll be a, there'll be ten different ways to play yeah. golf. You got to match. You got to suit it to your game. What a story brewing here at the 103rd PGA Championship, Kiowa Island, South Carolina, and the Ocean Course. Phil Mickelson is trying to become the oldest major champion ever at the age of 50. When I think of Kiowa Island, I think of an island that's given people a lot of pleasure. Go to Tidewater Golf Club. This is one of the premier properties in North Myrtle Beach. Has a couple holes along the water. Some of the better holes in uh, in, in the Myrtle Beach area. Here's a Wild Hoos Resort on the Isle of Palms announcing they are planning to invest millions of dollars into improving its courses. 